It was the 2nd of April 1943 when the crew of U-606 reported back to Bergen after a short two-week stay in a Bavarian village. The rest was courtesy of the BDU after their fine performances on the patrols in the Arctic convoys to date, sinking numerous heavy warships as well as over 200,000 tons of merchant tonnage. As the skipper reported to the BDU, the officer advised, we've been tasked to travel to sector AB8 to AF2 in the Norwegian Sea and patrol for 2,000 kilometers within this zone. Additional orders may be received upon reaching this area. The anticipated number of vessels in the area is expected to be medium. Intelligence also advises the weather in the area is expected to be foggy, which may hamper operations. To complete the Arctic convoy campaign, Another 32,000 tonnes of trade shipping is required. It is possible that this can be completed on this patrol. Good hunting. Okay, on the 4th of April, 2341 we received a message of high importance um, we were attacked by aircraft and sustained heavy damage we are out of replacement parts we are making uh, we're asking for help meeting point 66.92 north uh, 655 east we'll stay there by the 7th of April 1943 okay we've got a fellow u-boat in trouble and of course we will answer the call and go to their aid. We have spare parts on board uh, thanks to a complete refit and um, s survey of the boat after that uh, previous incident where we got very close and personal with a hedgehog mortar fired from the HMS Exmouth was it? Um, which obviously just clipped the uh, the stern, the very tip of our uh, U-boat which caused quite a bit of damage. Thankfully it didn't rupture the pressure hull and uh, we were able to uh, limp back to base after making repairs so uh, we can only imagine what's happened here uh, so we're gonna beeline for this u-boat because obviously he's probably going to be on the surface and vulnerable so the sooner we can get there the sooner we can help him the better chance he has of surviving Okay, there she is, U-1000. Right, let's all stop. Oh, there is life. Yep, they've still got a couple of guys on watch. That's good to know. So it's not all bad. Right, let's get a uh, engineer and some... Um, my boarding party to go and offer some assistance. So U-1000, this U-boat called for help. According to the message, they need replacement parts from us. We should probably take them with us before meeting their crew. Assuming we want to share, well of course we do. So let's send an engineer, let's send uh, Xander. He's, he should have um, spare parts on him. Uh, we'll send a leader, we'll send Cork as well. And we will send a radio guy just in case they need any engineer on the radio side sorting out. And we'll send some officers, uh, some some seamen as well. Albrecht Zander was welcomed by the skipper of the vessel. After a short exchange of courtesy, the skipper got straight to the point, asking about the resources he'd asked for in the radio message. Let's give him the replacement parts. Mission complete. 65% boost in reputation. Skipper thanks us for our help and promised to nicely mention us in his report to HQ. Glad to be of service. Good luck and uh, off you go. Right, with the uh, repairs and parts provided uh, it looks like is she underway? You can see she's starting to get a bow wake. What she's probably waiting is for us to get out of the way. Should we get out of the way? Oh, head up, standard. Let's get out of here. Give her a chance to uh, move off. There we go. Do not ram us. 
Do not yet ram us, U-1000. There we go. So there we go. You can see how vulnerable she was on the surface. Uh, we don't know if those parts prevented her from um, diving. Could have been a pump failure. Could have been a ballast failure. Yes, but she's good. She should start. She'll probably head home now, back to port to get uh, a full repair before she comes out again. So we'll leave her to it. And we'll keep on our eye out for any enemy ships. Now, they did say it's going to be foggy, and it's anything but. It's absolutely beautiful. It's uh, sunny. It's it's calm, and the water is beautiful. You actually fancy having a dip in this, don't you? It's probably freezing. But uh, it's only April in the Arctic, in the Norwegian Sea. So um, yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend going for a swim, but it does look quite appealing. Anyway, she's on her way. So are we, and uh, let's get back to it. Welcome back everyone. Right, we finally found uh, contacts, and there they are. What have we got? Looks like a destroyer up front. Just coming up to periscope depth now, so. Um, yeah, destroyer up front. Can we see what's there? Looks like a Swedish ship. Probably a troublemaker, up to no good as always. Uh, what else have we got? Another merchant ship, this is what I like to see. Another merchant ship. Probably another one. And all just with one escort. Two more merchant ships. Ooh. Now, is it a case of do we want to take out the merchant uh, the escort ship and will that give us a free reign on everything else? Oh wait, hang on. That looks a little bit more military as well. Okay, possibly another warship. Um, just by the mast, that looks like it's merchant. That looks like merchant mast. Can't tell. Is that the lock? Oh no, one there. Oh, what's that? Mm, that could be uh, warship like. That's it. Right, okay. Let's close in and see if we can spot. Um, some targets to shoot. Okay, a bit of time has passed. That is that lead ship. We can see it a bit better now. Yeah, so it looks like uh, a nasty uh, destroyer. Is there something behind it? Maybe something off in the distance I can't see. Oh, it looks like a little corvette, maybe. Um, but this is what we want. We've got a Swedish ship there, which will probably allow pass for now, because there's probably going to be bigger and better ships. Uh, this is more like it. Look, that looks like a Liberty. Yes. And then we've got another Empire ship there. Something over the horizon. Oh, is that an oil tanker? That looks like an oil tanker hidden over there. Oh, that's an escort carrier. Not tempted to go for the escort carrier, although I am tempted. Oh, hello. Oh, that's what the other warship was. It looks like a Dido light cruiser. Empire ship. Right, no, so with, with 32,000 tons we need to uh, complete the patrol. Um, that is what we're going to go for. We're going to ignore the warships as best as we can, even though there's a light cruiser and... Uh, <laughs> an escort carrier here. Let's ignore them. Uh, we're going to try and um, finish off what we can, get our tonnage, and what we need. There we go, a liberty. Let's recognize that. Uh, do a speed check. It's probably going to be seven knots. That seems to be the. Almost. That uh, seems to be the standard. Uh, usually they're doing six, seven knots, uh, depending on what the reported speed is. You usually get in from the BDU or uh, 
a U-boat which is um, chasing them. We've got one of our engineers warming up the torpedoes as we speak, so that should be good. Almost there. We'll get the speed, get the range. And we'll work out the, uh, the angle about, and we are good to go. Seven knots. There we go. That's what we thought it would be. Distance. About five kilometers. Okay, there she is locked in. What we got in tube one? We've got T5. Okay, T3 in tube two, and a T3 in tube three. They got fat. So that's got LUT, and that's a T5. Right. Let's get some. What is that? Liberty. It draft is seven point two. Let's put that as a magnetic then. Let's take that down to eight. Seven and a half. Um, get that to turn right. Uh, we've got 3,600 meters. It's got obviously a bit of time's passed. Let's go to 3.7 and then you can turn. Right, tube 3, fire. Lost! Obviously, not using the TDC again because of the uh, the uh, the fat and the LUT torpedoes. Um, we've got a. What have we got there? A little. I can't quite see what it is. What's the flag? I don't recognise that. What is that flag? Skip through. We can assume hostile because it's with hostile crowd. Oh, no, don't know. Don't know is the answer. Right. Uh, it's an Empire style ship though anyway. Let's uh, recognise that as a merchant. Not quite sure what it is. Distance. It's going to be around the 5 to 7. 7 knots again. Is that, oh, there's, oh, actually, there's much closer ones. Let's not. Let's target the ones that are much closer. Uh, we've got this freighter here. We fired at that one. There's the oil tanker and the, oh, the bow class carrier, of course. Uh, where's that destroyer? So there, coming straight at us, right? Okay, let's not faff. There's the Dido light cruiser. Um, there's the what looks to be a Bogue class. There is that. Right, oil tanker. Um, oh, okay. Der Torpedo ist auf halbem Weg zum Ziel. Okay, yeah, I've been faffing. Sorry. Oh my God, there's been. So many. Where's Where's Murica? There you are. Right. Um, coaster, fishing boat, freighter, tanker. We're looking for. Are you? Yeah, you could be a T two. Recognise that. Uh, it's going to be seven knots. Seven knots. Distance. 3,600 meters. Yes. Okay. Um, oh, that's gone cold. But let's look, oh, flood it anyway. T5 is going to go everywhere. Anywhere and anywhere. All right, let's get that to go to at least 3, 4. Then we want that to turn back on itself. Too, too far. Oh, I sent that at 7.5 meters. Oh, what's the depth? 7.1. Sugar. 40 Sekunden bis Torpedo Einschlag. Damn blast. Okay, it's a good hit. Uh, we are going well, staying a little bit low. Right, let's lock onto this one. Lady Nelson, we know she is a um, uh, British Raj, yeah, that'll do, whatever. Uh, we just want, give us a merchant, I can't see it now, we've actually dropped a little bit below the... Der Torpedo ist auf halbem Weg zum Ziel. 
yeah, recognize that. Seven knots. It doesn't have to be too accurate because we're going to fire a T5. What do you reckon about? Uh, about there. That's about right. Oh, she's coming up for dead ahead of us. Right, uh, tube one, which is the T5. Oh, tube four's gone under maintenance. T3 in the rear. Fire. Alright, periscope down. Right, we've just popped up again after diving because um, the destroyers went the wrong way. The crew, uh, the uh, sorry, the tanker is right in front of us. We've got that T5 now. Do not have it down so low. T4 fire. What do we got now? We got we got a T3 in one, a T3 in two, and a T1 in three. What do we got? I can hear something. Oh, there's a Corvette coming right for us. Um, what is this? Oh, it's the carrier. Got something right next to us. It's a merchant. Yeah, that's probably going to be far too close. Princess Margaret. Yeah, too close. Right, uh, take us down. Crash dive again. We got a torpedo away. everyone right depth charges behind us we're down here at 160 meters and we are just sneaking forward to get underneath that oil tanker yes that oil tanker seems to have uh, ground to a halt with that t5 torpedo hitting it right up the rear probably damaging its prop and all the shafts and the uh, the um the old powertrain so um yes we are going to try and hide under that as she's just uh, adrift uh, which will mean the Corvettes and the destroyers cannot get a free, clean run over us to uh, to finish us off. There is a couple of um, ships out there with Pickett, um, sorry, the Hedgehog um, uh, mortar, which um, we had a run in with last time. Um, yeah, very deadly. Uh, we got very lucky last time. Uh, we do not want to uh, face that this time. Um, as you can hear, the uh, the depth charges started from the rear and they're making their way that way. So the um, ship going over at the moment is not on, on target and we can uh, breathe a sigh of relief this time. a hell of a lot of depth charges being dropped. These are in front of us now. Thankfully we still got that tanker above us.
It's a hell of a lot of death charges coming down. I'm not surprised you didn't want to be in there. Okay, uh, we've come back up to periscope depth. We just moved slightly away from the tanker because obviously I don't want to come up just below the tanker because uh, that would be um, dangerous. Uh, so we're just going to have a little poke up to see what that object is. Is that what that unknown object is? Oh, it's the light cruiser. That is that is uh, a Dido light cruiser. Um, where's Britain? United Kingdom. There we go. Uh, military cruisers. It's not county classes. Oh, apparently we no oh, aircraft spotted. That's obviously from the. Uh, Oh, light cruiser. It's, it's got its own category now, apparently. Okay, good. Light cruiser then. Um, no idea what. It's going really slow. Probably about two knots. Range is really close. Might have to do that other hydrophone, okay. actually. 500 meters away. Um, got T1 here. Oh, drei, bebessern! Uh, a little bit of time yet. She's uh, right at our. Um, uh, she's about two o'clock. We got some. What we got over there? I think they're life rafts and stuff. There's there's the tanker right behind us. Uh, let's spin this back. Yeah, it'd be good if we can um, see if we. When she gets to about here, we'll uh, we'll rearrange and uh, have another shot because. Um, She's come right close to the party. I don't know why. She doesn't seem to be interested in hunting us. But, of course, the escorts are not leaving while they've got a capital ship in the area. But she might be doing slower than two knots, you know. Right. Uh, tube three. Fire. Right. 20 seconds. Is this going to strike true? The uh, the Dido light cruiser is actually just a, uh, oh yes, good hits. She's just a beefed up destroyer basically. Um, she's not there's not much to her to be fair. Don't not do any damage at all. Right in that case, let's give her another one. Fire. I know I said I wouldn't fire at ship, but she's right there. We can't do anything at the moment. Oh my god, she just split in two. Fantastic. Right. Well, protected by our, um, our, uh, well, there we go, the Wood Lake, who's the, uh, the abandoned uh, oil tanker. Um, we seem to be quite protected here. The uh, escort. Oh, hello, what's over there? And uh, Sylvia. It's a Swedish ship. It's turned round, has it? Interesting. Interesting. Um, what are they? What have we got over there? Lifeboats. Okay, they're, they're lifeboats from the tanker. Right, so we're going to sit here for a while and just keep an eye on Hydrophone and see if the escorts come back. Um, we just sunk a light cruiser. wasn't really our intention. It's just It was just going very slowly, so... I don't know if they were... Oh, do you reckon they were picking up lifeboats? I wondered why she came towards the tanker. She might have been picking up rescuing lifeboats. That's why she's going so slow and we've just put two torpedoes in her. Ah, well, we won't know. Anyway, um, we're going to keep an eye out, see what's going on, and uh, yeah, let's see if any more escorts come. If not, we can finish off this 
tanker. And then we try and get ahead of the convoy once again. There's a couple of juicy targets still in there. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, we've just seen a corvette being sunk. We've got another U-boat moving into the area. And she's just taking out one of the escort ships. Now, interestingly, um, look. The, uh, the aircraft which took off from the boat carrier, they didn't make it back to the aircraft. They ran out of fuel, clearly. And they've been ditched in the sea. Very interesting. We've got four aircraft ditched. Um, we're still here by the tanker. We've got the wreck there. Wreck there. The two ships we've sent down. Um... We've got the Swedish ship, which is making a run for it that way. Um, obviously got the wreck there, the Dido class uh, cruiser. Uh, but yeah, we've got this U-boat off here doing some um, distraction work, which is great. Uh, really, I want to get up and use the deck gun to finish off this tanker. So uh, maybe we can move into a position to have a shot at this uh, the Sylvia, was it? As she moves on. Guys, would you stop standing in front of the light? You're making weird shadows, which is freaking everyone out. Right, depth charges are behind us. We should be okay. Hopefully we're not going to drift. We had to uh, come up to flank speed to get away from the, um, the Corvettes as they were dropping their depth charges. They're trying to lay them in our path towards the uh, tanker, but we were able to blat it and get down past them before they actually sunk down as so we can hear them exploding behind us but we've now obviously gone all start but we will drift with our momentum Okay, a new development. This clever captain here is pushing this um, ship from on top of us away. Uh, can we issue orders to our fellow U-boat captain? Sink this ship. He's um, he's he's cottoned onto a new course of action. We've got another U-boat up there. He's planning to chase the convoy. Uh, it would be really good if you could uh, engage some of these ships as well. Get them off my, off my back. See that one? Attack order issued, but it doesn't seem to be get the little cross. It seems to be on that one. But okay. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, we've been down at the depths for so long. We've run out of air, and my battery is almost dead as well. Uh, so we've had to come up to periscope depth. As you can see, I've stuck the snorkel up, so we've got some fresh air coming in, and we can use the diesel engines. We're still on the battery at the moment, but let's switch over to the uh, the diesel. Um, with the snorkel up, we should be okay. Um, yeah, we've got ventilation going. We can probably switch that off uh, because we've got the snorkel up. Um, and I should say, with the battery, allow that to recharge. Will that see that going up? I think we're still on the uh, we're still um, on the electric engines for the moment, but um, managing the diesel engines, so we should be on the diesels. Um, look at the carnage! Look at the utter carnage on this piece of water. Uh, life rafts everywhere. We've got dis discarded aircraft. We've got these living escorts which are still dancing. We've got these other two um, U-boats who are also sort of just we're just dancing, spinning around each other, trying to evade. Uh, I'm going to just make a break up here. Um, there we go. Batteries recharging now, uh, and we're going to put the Tube Five, send that into the um, the Wood Lake, the T2 tanker, trying to finish her off, and then we're just going to try and get out of here. Uh, we need to get away, recharge. We've actually used a lot of fuel already. Um, 
and uh, see if we can finish us uh, catch up to that convoy. I don't know where that is. That's probably miles away now. Um, leave these escorts behind and see if we can catch up with the rest of them. Right, there she is. Let's lock her in. Uh, tube 5 is a T3. Let's just uh, recalculate everything. Get that right. There you go. She's uh, 1,893 meters away. She is doing zero knots. Uh, let, let's get that to go past the ship before it turns. And then, yeah, you can just do a random... If you miss, you can do a random turn that way. And go off to see if you can hit any of the... Um, the destroyers will go to 1.5 meters just to make sure that if it, they do hit a destroyer, um, it causes... All sorts of problems. Right, uh, tube five, fire. Lord! Tube five away, and then we can have a look at see what the carnage is. Look, we've got life rafts everywhere. It's such a beautiful, calm day. It's perfect deck gun weather, and yet we don't get the opportunity. Look at these aircraft. There's, there's potential pilots we could go rescue. We may have swum to the, um, the life rafts at this point. And then we've got then we've got that nasty one with the uh, the hedgehog mortar, and we got more corvettes, more corvettes, and we got more <laughs> another aircraft and more life rafts. Right, let's have a look. How's how are we doing? How's that torpedo doing? Should be winging its way to this. Um, to the periscope, Dan. Winging its way towards the Wood Lake T2 tanker right now. Uh, disaster! That torpedo turned early. Why did it turn early? Ah, bloody hell. Right, let's get the Tube 5 reloaded, please. Okay, we've had to turn the, the boat around because we've got nothing left in tube 5. Right, what have we got? We've got a T3. T3. That's under maintenance. All T3s. Right. Oh, eins bewässern. Really extend that out. And you can turn right after that time. Oh, eins bewässern. Gah, fire. Los! Do not mess up this time, please. Yeah, that turn um, before we actually should have... But, um, never mind. Hopefully this one will run true. And she's gone. Perfect. Right. That's probably just brought the attention to all the escorts who were dancing over there with the other two U-boats. Right. But let's um, let's use the opportunity to um, get out of here and um, try and re find that uh, that convoy and get ahead of them. Hi everyone, right, we managed to get away from those escorts and we've been moving where we predicted where the convoy might be and look what we can see. Smoke on the horizon. There's a lot of smoke on the horizon. My only concern is it does seem to be going quite fast. That looks to be potentially the speed of that, unless it's really windy, which the waves suggest it's not. Uh, they could be military ships because they seem to be moving fast. Whereas, you know, the, um, the smoke from a merchant tends to just be lazily going up in the air, but they seem to be moving at quite a speed. So we'll, we'll approach carefully and um, see if we can see what's going on here, see who these people are. Right, okay, here we go. Uh, we've got oh, what I thought it's gonna be It's gonna be destroyers, isn't it? Oh, we know we got a merchant ship there. We've got one merchant ship 
two motion ships. Nice. Uh, oh, we've got a heavy cruiser. There we go. We've got another merchant ship here. Nice. So if you hit those merchant ships, it's like a destroyer. Um, a lot of the destroyers. Oh yeah. Right, quickly. Let's um. Oh yeah, that looks angry. Let's get these uh, merchant ships locked in. Get some torpedoes fired and gone. There we go. That looks like a Liberty. Let's get that straight in. Uh, civilian vessel coast freighter. There we go. Freighter Liberty. Recognize that. Stick it in at seven knots. We're going to guess that tends to be the way. About five thousand meters. Yeah, we got our locked in. What do we got? T three, T three, T three, T five. Okay. Let's get that. This seems kind of a little bit choppy, so I'm not going to risk magnetic. Uh, we've got actually Dan on from the hydrophone as 4,200. So let's get you going 4,500 and then you do your turn. Fire. Right, tube two away. Where's these other merchant ships? Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Right, uh, what do we got here? Uh, it's, well, it looks like uh, it's not a British ship. Let's just get that locked in. Again, seven knots. Distance, we do on the hydrophone, same as the. It's going to be about 2,300 meters. Uh, 2,800 meters. Okay. Um, T3. Let's get that to go. Fire. Tube three away, right. So that's that one and that one. Where's this other one? Ah, here it is. All right, what is that? That looks like that kind of a merchant. Seven knots, distance, pretty close. Okay, and we get this one in. Let's get the T3 oh, up there. Fire. Then we've got a T5. Let's get that flooded. Let's just point and shoot that one. Right, three torpedoes away. Okay, unfortunately, the torpedoes have done some crazy things. So we got tube five loaded. Fire Nos! that. Take us down. Let's go down. Let's go down deep. 150 meter. Let's go down. We got a good hit on that Liberty though, which is the good thing. Okay, we've managed to get to the surface and uh, put the deck gun in action finally. Let's um, hopefully with the escort stay far enough away. Did actually take a little bit of damage as we as the snorkel comes down. Let's not try and blast that to pieces. We took a bit of damage as we surfaced the boat, so I don't know if um, these ships had uh, their deck guns alive, but they seem to be evacuated. So. I'm not quite sure. Uh, there's the other ship we hit over there. She's um going down at the stern. There we go. Liberty is gone. Happy days. Right, we're going to move forward now and uh, see if we can get that ship over there. She's a bit f far in the distance. Yeah. 
now. There she goes. The Liberty slips beneath the uh, surface. Fantastic. Good. Let's go on to the last one then. Okay, there is the uh, Belgica. So we can just finish this one off. Some more tonnage. Do a quick stock take of how many torpedoes we got left. Fuel is really low now. God, I'll sink you, devil. Keep constantly scanning to make sure there is no um, escort coming back. Ah, I think she's gone. Give her one more. Water is now seeping in. She's gone. She's gone. Wait for the woohoo. She's sinking. Brilliant. And another one gone. Alright, let's stow the deck gun and uh, check on the state of the boat. Right then, with that ship going down to the bottom, uh, we have only one torpedo left, yes. We've uh, got through them pretty damn quick, so uh, I think, low on fuel, it's time to head back to base. And as we sail back into port with the band playing, um, Albrecht Xander has received his Iron Cross First Class. Well done, uh, Xander. And Klaus von Danningberg has received a new decoration, the Knight's Cross with Oak Leaves and Cross Swords. Cross Swords on the Knight's Cross are the next addition to the Knight's Cross, meant for re re recipients of Oak Leaves. It's a very respectable decoration, and only a few Kriegsmarine officers receive it. And, as we move into the campaign objectives, it's complete. 250,000 tons have been sunk along the Arctic convoy routes. What an achievement. Uh, 6,000 extra cash, a, represent, a reputation boost of 100%, and we get a resupply milk cow which we can deploy on the map should we want to do any long journeys, say, to America or the Far East. Oh, so we started off by sinking the Lucille M. Uh, sources inform us that the ship was headed from Halifax to Liverpool with medical supplies in the cargo holds. The ship's gross registered tonnage was 7,235 tonnes, registered in Canada. Lady Nelson, uh, registered in Canada, was carrying food from Halifax to Liverpool. Its gross registered tonnage was 2,773 tonnes. The Wood Lake, registered in the US, was carrying oil from Halifax to Liverpool. Registered tonnage was 14,433 tonnes. Nice. Then we sank the Hillcrest Park. Uh, it was 7,223 tonnes of food uh, from Halifax to Liverpool, registered in Canada. And the RV... Belgica. The ship was registered in Norway and was carrying medical supplies from Halifax to Liverpool. Its registered tonnage was 2,790 tons. Boom. But it wasn't actually where we sunk that. That's that's nowhere. Halifax, I guess, in, in North America to Liverpool in Western England. How, wow, where on earth were they going the route they went? That's crazy. Uh, mission summary, however, 8,000 extra cash, 33% reputation boost, total tonnage sunk, 34,454 tons, time at sea 21 days, 23 hours, distance travel 9,934 kilometers. Confirmation then, the Lucille Liberty freighter was sunk, 
Then the Lady Nelson freighter was sunk. The Dido light cruiser. We didn't get a representation, but confirmation that was sunk. Uh, the T2 tanker. Another Liberty freighter and another freighter was sent to the bottom. We also helped an ally. We reached our patrol area. We sunk the minimum 4,000 tons. And we travelled 2,000 kilometres inside the marked area. Does that Dido cruiser have a name? No, just we sunk a Dido class light cruiser. Anyway, brilliant. The Arctic convoys have been completed. We can move on to a new campaign next time. Yeah, will it be North America Operation Drumbeat, or maybe we'll head to the Caribbean, or even down south to the African waters? Yes, I know what you'll want to do, but I'll have to think about it, and I'll probably decide what you want to do anyway. Um, so join us then for next time for a new adventure with U606. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.